Hello there, I'm Professor Feltman. So, you're interested in the sonic screwdriver. Over to Dr. David Attenberger. The sonic screwdriver is a fictional multifunctional tool in the British science fiction television programme Doctor Who and its various spin-offs, the sonic screwdriver, is a device used by the programme's protagonist called the Doctor and other characters in the Doctor Who franchise. The sonic screwdriver is a tool that can manipulate various objects and technologies using sound waves. Not every Doctor has used it on screen. The Twelfth Doctor loses his sonic screwdriver to the creator of the Daleks, Davros, after lending it to him when he was a child. The sonic sunglasses were a device the Twelfth Doctor used to replace his sonic screwdriver after he abandoned it. The screwdriver has been given or loaned to other characters such as the Doctor's doppelganger, Rory Williams and River Song. The sonic screwdriver has limitations such as its inability to work on wood or isomorphic controls. Can't you sonic it? It doesn't do wood. That is rubbish. Oh, I noticed the sonic. Oh, aliens made of wood. This was always going to happen, you know. What? I've got to invent a setting for wood. It's embarrassing. The sonic won't work on that. It's too primitive. I can trigger an isolated sonic shift among the molecules, and the door should disintegrate. You have to calculate the exact harmonic resonance of the entire structure down to a subatomic level. Even a sonic could take years. You won't let me down. There's no setting for wood. Why is there still no setting for wood? Like the TARDIS, it has become one of the icons of the program. And spin-off media such as the Sarah Jane Adventures and Torchwood have replicated its functions in devices such as the Sonic Lipstick, Sonic Blaster, Sonic Probe, Sonic Modulator and the Sonic Cane. Sonic Cane? Are you serious? Over to Feltman for a look at uh, the real-life science of the sonic screwdriver. Oh dear, it looks like I've landed on Attenberger. Just a moment. Subscribe! And we're back. Attenberger is okay, is in the hospital having stitches. Well, he is a felt puppet. Over to Professor Brian Sox for the science bit. At first, the sonic screwdriver simply functioned as a normal screwdriver. Only, since it was sonic, it didn't actually have to make contact with the screws. This is a sonic screwdriver. Now, where can I demonstrate that? Ah, oh, that revolver will do. It's all right. All the Hoofians know that the actual screwdriver changes its abilities to forward the plot and to get the Doctor out of various jams. So let's go right back to the sonic part of the screwdriver. Is the original sonic screwdriver possible? We are looking at the science of sound. Firstly, acoustic levitation. Acoustic levitation is a method for suspending matter in air against gravity using acoustic radiation pressure. This is how it works. Sound is just a pressure wave that hits your ears. We can use those pressure waves to suspend small objects. If you direct sound at a particle at the right distance, you'll get it in between a standing wave. It'll sort of ping pong between and just stay there. The particle has to be smaller than the wavelength or this won't work. We can move things using sound. This principle is known as acoustic tweezers. They use a hemispherical array of ultrasound transducers to generate a 3D acoustic field. Most of the examples here are small polystyrene beads which is not much use for the Doctor, unless a Dalek's made out of polystyrene and is very small. So, the technology we have today is nowhere near as good as a Gallifreyan would have. But it's nice to know that there is some grain of science fact behind the longest running science fiction series. Back over to Feldman. Where does the Doctor's sonic screwdriver get all of its power from? It's never explicitly said on the show, 
Given the technology of the Time Lord, it literally could be anything. For all we know, it could be bigger on the inside and have a black hole inside powering it. It has on occasion needed to be recharged, but again we never got a story that told us. Unless you know differently, please let me know in the comments. The sonic screwdriver has evolved over the years from a handy tool for assembling an IKEA flat pack to a multifunctional tool that can create a force field to protect you from danger. The sonic screwdriver was essentially a magic wand and a sci-fi Swiss army knife. It has always kept its screwdriver type shape until the 15th doctor. Now it looks like a television remote, among other things. It has an ergonomic Apple Store aesthetic design, more of a sonic device than a screwdriver. In retrospect, with our current technology, it looks like a sonic screwdriver is technically out of our reach. But the nearest thing you have currently with that future potential is your mobile phone. It's an entertainment center, it's a torch, it's a dating device. Want to get rid of enemies, or at least make them look stupid? Then download the app. Subscribe!